Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we will start chapter 8, lesson 8.1, multiples of unit fractions. And our essential question is, how can you write a fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction? Before we start, let me remind you what do we mean by multiples and unit fractions. Multiples are like skip counting. For example, multiples of 2 are, we start with 2 and we skip counting by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. These are multiples of 2. And multiples of 3 means we start with 3 and we skip counting by 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. These are the multiples of 3. And unit fractions are fractions with 1 as the numerator, like half or third or fifth or ninth or twelfth. All of these has 1 as the numerator. So if it's a fraction and it has 1 as a numerator, we call it unit fraction. And in today's lesson, we will learn how to write a fraction, for example, 3 fourth as a whole number, which is 3 multiplied by a unit fraction, which is 1 over 4. To know how we do this, let's unlock the problem. At a pizza party, each pizza was cut into six equal slices. So we have a pizza, it's cut into six equal slices. At the end of the party, there was five sixths of a pizza left. There is five pieces or five slices left. Each one is one sixth. Roberta put each of the leftover slices in its own freezer bag. How many bags did she use? What part of a pizza did she put in each bag? So we have two questions here. How many slices of pizza we're eating? There is there only one slice of pizza was eating. And the other question is what fraction of the pizza is one slice? The pizza is cut into six equal parts. It means each slice or each part is one sixth. Example, write 5 sixths as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. The picture shows 5 sixths or how many sixth size parts? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sixth size parts. Each sixth size part of the pizza can be shown by unit fraction 1 sixth. You can use fractions to show 5 sixths in two ways. The way that we took before is we decompose 5 sixths. So 5 sixths means 5 sixths size parts. It means 1 sixth plus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth. And before we write the other way, 5 sixth equals what multiply 1 sixth? Let's see this. You can use multiplication to show repeated addition. For example, 3 multiply 4 is the same as 4 plus 4 plus 4. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 4 repeated 3 times, so 3 times 4. And 4 times 2, it means we have 4 of the 2. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So 2 is added 4 times. It means 4 multiplied 2. If we look here, there is 1 sixth, 1 sixth, 1 sixth, 1 sixth, 1 sixth. It's 1 sixth added 5 times. It means 5 multiplied 1 sixth. So another way 
to write 5 6 is 5 multiply 1 6 and that is the goal of today to write the fraction as a whole number multiplied by a unit fraction the number of atoms or the multiplier represents the number of bags used the unit fractions represent the part of a pizza in each bag because she put each sixth size part in one bag so the number of unit fractions here is the same as the number of bags because she bought each slice or each one sixth in one bag so Roberta used five bags she bought one sixth of a pizza in each bag now explain how can you write three halves as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction I can write three halves as a sum of unit fractions like this three halves if I decompose it it will be half plus half plus half three times I can use multiplication to show this repeated addition which is half repeated three times it means three times half the product of a whole number which is three and a unit fraction which is half now we have multiples the product of a number and a counting number is a multiple of the number you have learned about multiples of whole numbers the products 1 multiply 4 2 multiply 4 3 multiply 4 and so on are multiples of 4 so the numbers 4 8 12 and so on are multiples of 4 or as we said we can skip count by 4 so 4 8 12 plus 4 16 plus 4 20 and so on all of these are multiples of 4 you can also find multiples of unit fractions as we will see 1 multiply fourth is fourth use models to write the next four multiples of fourth complete the last model okay so here if we have two of these fourth two multiply fourth or we can say two fourth two over four if we have three of it it means three multiply fourth which is three fourth if we have four of it, it means four multiply fourth which is four fourth the next one we will have one fourth another one fourth and another one fourth and another one fourth and another one fourth how many do we have here one two three four five so five multiply one fourth or we can write it as five fourth so as you can see the multiples of fourth we have one multiply fourth is fourth two multiply fourth is two fourth 3 multiply 4, 3 4, 4 multiply 4, 4 4, 5 multiply 4 is 5 4. So as we can see, the multiples of 4 are 4, 2 4, 3 4, 4 4, 5 4, 6 4, 7 4, and so on. So multiples of 4 are 1 4, 2 4, 3 4, 4 4, 5 fourth and so on and we can continue 6 fourth 7 fourth 8 fourth and so on and here he says use a number line to write multiples of fifth so fifth mean you divide the whole one into five equal parts one two three four five so each small part of this is one fifth so if we move like this, this is one fifth, two fifth, three fifth. The next one is four fifth. The next one is five fifth, which is actually the whole one. 
then if we continue 6 fifth, 7 fifth, 8 fifth, 9 fifth, 10 fifth, 10 fifth, which is actually the 2. So the multiples of fifth are fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifth, 4 fifth, 5 fifth. And now for share and show. You the picture to complete the equation. Okay. 3 fourth, if we decompose it, we will write it with unit fractions like this. Fourth plus fourth plus fourth. Or we can write it as a whole number. The whole number is the numerator. So the whole number is the 3 multiplied by the unit fraction with denominator 4, which is 1 fourth. The next one. Write the fraction as a product of a whole number and the unit fraction. Really easy. The numerator, which is 4, is a whole number. And we multiply it by, we have 5 in the denominator, so the unit fraction is 5th. 3 tenth. The numerator is 3, this is the whole number. Multiply it by, we have 10 in the denominator, so the unit fraction is 10th. 8 is the numerator, so the whole number is 8. Multiplied by, we have 3 in the denominator, so the unit fraction is 3rd. Now, list the next 4 multiples of unit fraction. This is a really easy question. 1 sixth, 1 more sixth will be 2 sixth, 1 more sixth will be 3 sixth, 1 more sixth will be 4 sixth, 1 more sixth will be 5 sixth, and so on. Okay, 1 third, the next one, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, 4 thirds, 5 thirds, and so on. So we need two things from this lesson to write the fraction as a product of a whole number and the unit fraction and it's easy. You just take the numerator, make it the whole number and the denominator we make it as a unit fraction. The second thing is to write the multiples of unit fraction and it's easy as you see. For example, if we have sixth, the next one we add one more sixth, two sixth, add one more sixth, three sixth and so on and now it's your turn try to solve on your own questions number seven eight and nine he wants you to write the fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction so the numerator tells us the whole number and the denominator tells us the unit fraction and number 10 and 11 he wants the next four multiples of the unit fraction. So here we have one tenth. If we add one more tenth, it will be what? Add one more tenth, it will be what? Here we have one eighth. We start with one eighth. Add one eighth more, it will be what? Add one eighth more, it will be what? And so on. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. And if you are in my class, just solve on your own questions and we will see it together on the live session. Have a nice day. Bye bye.